Right, so uh, let's see what we get here. Alright, um, let's put my hand in and pick one of them and take it out and see which one is it. Well, I guess it's Kasia Sophia. Hey guys, it's here as you and to review the Kogo Lego Lake my my Tesco store Cashier Sophia. So uh, basically I'm going to be starting a new review series uh, for the My Tesco store or the My Tesco Malaysia series. And yeah, basically at the at uh, each of the start of the video, uh, I'll I will you know kinda lucky draw uh, one set and yeah, I'll I will do it on screen and you know, so that it's more uh, legitimate, and yeah, um, and this time, of course, I I ch I have um gotten the Casher Sophia, so I'll be reviewing the Casher Sophia. But yeah, uh, these are all of the sets, and you also have this one, the big hypermarket set, which you have to get to put all of these inside and yeah if you don't know how this works you just uh, need 12 stickers and 5 ringgit to get one set and they and uh, you can't uh, choose them uh, you don't know what's inside so yeah that you you need to exchange so you, you have to join a Facebook um, exchange group but yeah there's also a crock set which I also have I have all the sets now and yeah, sorry for a late review, I guess, but yeah, uh, this is the packaging. They are all the same. Um, no set numbers though, but yeah, I recommend if we just clean up and yeah, just all the details. And yeah, here shows you the brand. So they collaborated with Kogo, Maggie Bricks, and yeah, but everyone just calls uh, calls them uh, Kogo, but. Yeah, Kogo is a Lego Blade company, and yeah, it's um famous enough that I know it, and yeah, but um, yeah, so that's it for the packaging. So this is the instruction paper here, so yeah, it's just a normal little paper, and yeah, uh, so on the side here, shows you, uh, comes with 32 pieces, and yeah, it's kind of like a poly bag. So yeah, you, you got the cashier bill, you got the customer service, service, and you also got the um, Tesco stuff. So yeah, but uh, aside from that, that's it for the instructions. So uh, this is uh, Cashier Sophia here. Uh, so yeah, this is the uh, Tesco stuff, and yeah, I guess um, the the title of the set um, you know has a name in it. You know, most likely. But yeah, I could be wrong though. But yeah, so uh, this is not an ordinary uh, Lego mythic. Uh, it's kind of in a different different style to not copy the uh, official Lego uh, mythicer. But yeah, it's uh, all, all the articulations and everything. They are all very similar. Um, just that you can't lean back. But yeah, so you have her a nice hairpiece, and you have have her a smile there, and you got the Tesco. Uh, logo there and yeah just that that printing right there that's the torso printing and no back printing but um yeah like it uh the no leg printing because you can't print on the leg uh because of the mold but yeah so um that's it for the figure so uh these are all of the builds here so um let's start off by taking a look at the cashier first so um yeah the cashier here um so here first off you got this sticker uh which is this uh tesco club card uh sticker and yeah like uh the only thing like special about the this uh this uh series is the stickers so yeah but um the stickers they do kind of suck so if you like uh if you put them on like a uh, round surfaces kind of like these or you know on on like just round surfaces um they will they'll peel off uh, very quickly and yeah the the sticker quality quality kind of sucks but yeah i will show you why in another video um in another another review of this uh, my tesco store but yeah uh so you also have uh this tissue thing here with this uh, sticker piece 
which yeah the the brand is the okra brand so yeah but you also have this diaper style thing um yeah it's a uh, baby wipes kind of tissue i guess and yeah that's the sticker and um yeah and you also have uh this this thing here which you can put your stuff through and you know the cashier can just uh, scan and yeah so here's the uh, uh, register part I guess you got the Tesco logo there and yeah the sticker I yeah I kinda peeled it off because I, I stick it wrong but yeah and you still have uh, the all the buttons or anything you know the keyboard I guess and yeah but this isn't a accurate at all because um they used uh computers so yeah but you know uh so next off this is the information counter so yeah um you have this design right here which is pretty cool i do like it and yeah and you know you you just have this counter part and you know, you can just put your figure here, and you know, they can just talk to each other, I guess. But yeah, and the the cash register part of there that is uh, the exact same one as uh, the one at the uh, cashier, and yeah, except this one just uses a one by two brick, and yeah. So and uh, you also you got this um, information counter logo thing, and yeah, it's. Um, I'm like surprised that it's one whole, uh, one long sticker, you know, covering the entire thing. So yeah, like that's kind of, that's kind of bad actually. They could have just cut all the stickers and you know stick them on each side. That would have been much better, and yeah, it would have looked much nicer. But you can cut it, cut it yourself, I guess. But yeah, um, like aside from that, that's it for the build. So overall conclusion of this set, so how do I think of it? Um, well, uh, the figure is a nice uh, Tesco style figure, but yeah, just a pretty boring figure there. But yeah, like the rest of the set, it's um, pretty good, I guess. Uh, and like the counter, I like what they did, and, you know, with the stickers or anything. It's just that the sticker quality does kind of suck. But um, yeah, like if you stick it on these flat surfaces, then yeah, it, it will not peel off for a long time. And yeah, like except for this one, they could have just cut the sticker. That would have been much more easier and, you know, just would have looked much nicer so yeah like my only problem with the set is with the sticker and also how you can get it because uh, like getting the the 12 uh, stickers for a set it's actually pretty hard um it's harder harder than you imagine unless you you buy like a lot of stuff on like each purchase uh but yeah i just got uh free stickers and also uh, extra stickers you know uh, like I'm really glad that they have uh, extra stickers uh, but, and yeah if they don't have that um, it's really hard to uh, collect these and yeah like and also they are blind blind bag which really does kind of suck so you can't feel the set because it's all, all of the sets they all have bricks unless you you are smart enough I guess or you you got extra vision but yeah like I don't like the way how they do it and yeah and uh, and also sorry that I don't I didn't do any like openings uh, for these ones because yeah I just um, I just bought these and you know just exchange them I didn't bought these just directly I bought them with the stickers at the store I didn't bought them like uh, with any other people but you can buy it if you want to and yeah but the um, aside from that uh, no buy uh, no buy links for a set no set number which I'm surprised but yeah so if you if you want to buy the set you can try to uh, buy it in the uh, in the Facebook group which I will put a link down in the description box below and also to the my my Tesco store uh, website yeah I'll, I'll put a link to all of those down in the description box below along with all my social media pages down in the description so if you like my channel make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here so 
that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you very soon.